and how's it going everyone? It is Skullzy here with the latest gaming news, rumors, and speculation. And today I want to talk about the largest Starfield mystery and unanswered question yet. A mystery that seems to diminish in possibility as Bethesda gives us new information about this game and, ironically enough, it is confirmed to some degree all at the same time. By now, I am sure many of you are confused, but if you took enough skooma, you'd totally be able to understand all this, so that's not my fault. But jokes aside, don't worry, because in today's video, I plan to break down every known possibility thus far regarding intelligent alien races in Starfield. I'll break down all the known confirmed information so far straight from Bethesda, some fairly credible rumors based on this information, then round everything up by giving you my thoughts on whether or not I actually expect intelligent alien races to be in Starfield or not, so let's not waste any more time and get into today's content. First off, when I say intelligent aliens, I mean aliens that have culture, cities, have spoken languages, play Skyrim, and are obviously on an entire different level than, say, alien wildlife. Well, wildlife no doubt has a certain degree of intelligence and would still technically be alien if it happened to be from another planet. When the majority of the Bethesda community talks about aliens in Starfield, we're talking about aliens that are basically another entire fantasy race, such as the Orcs or Elves or Khajiit in the Elder Scrolls franchise, or for a better example, the Asari, Salarians, and Turians from Mass Effect. And this is a discussion I've no doubt brought up here on the channel before, as it's most likely the largest talking point regarding this game ever. Several people claim they will completely lose interest in this game if aliens aren't involved somehow, so with all this in mind, I'm going to utilize the more recent Bethesda information regarding Starfield to see if there is any sign of alien life anywhere in this game. That being the E3 2021 trailer and the 4 Into the Starfield development documentary videos we've received earlier in the year, all of which don't actually feature any direct indication or statements regarding aliens in the game. There might be a hint towards a potential alien artifact discovery, but more on that later. First off, the Into the Starfield Dev Diary videos actually confirm alien wildlife, some of which is dangerous and will indeed be present in Starfield and will likely be something our character will encounter throughout our Skuma Space Fish induced adventures. We get to enjoy space raptor things. The Kilo City is walled for a reason, and stepping outside those walls means facing the deadly Ashta, alien predators that are crossed between a wolf and a velociraptor. Space Mr. Crabs, Space Seagulls, and Space Psychedelic Skuma Boy Fish, all of which are confirmed by these lore videos Bethesda dropped regarding Starfield. However, despite all this, no mention of intelligent aliens and whether or not we can actually bang these intelligent aliens. However, there is one possible direct indication hinting towards aliens at least being in the game's universe, if not actively in the game itself. And it's mentioned, and not only that, but straight up shown to us during the E3 2021 trailer, right? Here. What you've found, it's the key to unlocking everything. Starfield Narration Girl says what we found as the player character is the key to unlocking everything. And then they show us this mysterious alien-like structure complete with what appears to be strange symbols as well. The structure must be fairly important to the main storyline of Starfield as it's also teased to us in promotional Starfield art seen here as well. We aren't really given any additional information about this mysterious artifact, but judging by the rhetorical information surrounding it, its origins must be a mystery to humanity if the structure itself could be the key to unlocking potentially everything, whatever everything means. That's that's a whole different topic. But clearly, if there are structures with unknown origins in this game that can unlock a ton of new possibilities and answers involving the universe, then I'd say it's safe to say that intelligent alien life is indeed confirmed in Starfield based upon these structures' existence, even if it's long extinct. But what if it's not long extinct? There is a theory suggesting this, and a theory that no doubt is possible and even hinted towards in this very same trailer. As some of you may know, Bethesda Game Studios first attempt at a game like Starfield took place in the 90s, and the game was called The Tenth Planet. The game was very ambitious for its time, though, which led to it eventually being cancelled due to it being deemed almost impossible to make based on the technology available back in the old ancient times of the 90s. However, that technology exists now, and no doubt Starfield is Bethesda actually finally trying to make the space game they've been wanting to make since the 90s. The Tenth Planet 
That's the sound of me racing towards an Elder Scrolls 6 release date out there. The Tenth Planet wasn't completely lost forever though, as the game's story was published in the form of a book series that you can literally buy off Amazon right now, and several commun- Bro, do I live in race car town? And several community members read through this 10th Planet book series already and claim there are some striking similarities between the book's storyline and what we have already seen teased to us in Starfield thus far. With all this in mind, Starfield might be inspired by certain elements from the storyline of the 10th Planet, and judging by the literal 10th Planet sticker we can see here in the Starfield trailer, this very well may be the case. Or it could just be that Todd Howard is dropping an easter egg based on a game that he previously worked on. Either way, if Starfield does utilize anything from the 10th planet, then not only would aliens be in the game, but they very well could be highly dangerous. Traveling to our solar system to harvest resources and leaving behind artifacts and structures once they return back to their home planet with said resources. This mysterious alien structure may very well be the remnants of this hostile alien species. While there is 100% no evidence to confirm this theory yet, based on all the other evidence surrounding it, including that 10th planet sticker tease in the trailer itself, I'd say it's one of the more credible theories out there yet. Perhaps there are numerous alien races, both dangerous and and friendly in Starfield, and as the player character, it may be up to us to forge alliances and friendships with these other alien races, trying to form an army of sorts in order to drive back the hostile alien invading forces. Perhaps Bethesda doesn't want us to know about aliens in a game until E3 2022, wanting to keep the biggest mystery yet a secret as long as possible in order to create a hype bomb at E3 itself, creating a bunch of hype shortly before the game's actual release date next year. Or perhaps we don't find out about aliens until the very end of Starfield, opening up more potential for Starfield 2 as perhaps we can even play as one of these new alien races. It seems like we'll be playing as a human in Starfield based on what we've seen so far, so there might be some merit to this other theory as well. Either way, all the speculation is based on a mysterious confirmed artifact within the game itself, an artifact that almost certainly has alien origins to it, and on top of all this with confirmed alien wildlife being in the game as well, I'd say there is a pretty solid possibility for there to be intelligent aliens in this game. After all, Todd Howard did say this is is going to be one of the biggest space epics ever, so it would be hard to imagine a giant space epic without multiple interesting aliens in the game. And before we close this video out, about four or so years ago, Bethesda Game Studios hired a few character artists who specifically designed various alien races in the past. One of these artists even worked for Bioware on the Mass Effect franchise, so clearly Bethesda hired talent who specialized in alien design for a reason. So in my opinion, this is even more evidence that aliens will be in the game, but as always, what I want to know is what do you think about all this? Let me know if you think aliens will be in the game or not down in the comments below, and as always, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy the content, subscribe if you want to stay in the know when it comes to the gaming news, and please share the video and share the content to help the channel grow, because that's the best way to help grow a channel and the community. And finally, if you want to get a permanent future video shout out at the end of every single one of my future videos, you can support the channel over on Coffee, Patreon, or here on YouTube as an exclusive channel member. I'll be making this list and uploading it next week, and it will get updated every couple of weeks, so now's your chance to get added to the next list. Links for all this and more are down in the description below, and as always, Thank you for watching. Be sure to tune in next time when aliens. It, it just works.